Bitcoin finally sees the approval of its spot trading ETF. But is this as bullish as everybody thinks? In this video, I'll be telling you exactly what my opinions are, the upcoming trades and everything in the charts. You know, with the spot ETF approval, I really believe the vast majority of the world view this as very bullish. OK, you know, there's a lot of thoughts that, you know, it does. And this is true. Open up a lot more volume for Bitcoin. And I think the, the general thought process is more volume equals higher prices. OK, that is not the case, of course, but that's what a lot of people think. And, you know, if you look at what happened to gold, when it got its spot ETF, of course, that also increased the prices. So I understand the thought process, but I am not so much just full, full bullish about the spot ETF approval. And I'll explain that in this video. I want to keep it as always professional, concise, and just really sharing with you a lot of key information that I truly believe can help you make informed decisions in this market. So uh, let's go on to the money train. <laughs> We're trading well, of course, in recent weeks, and I and I hope that continues. So uh, yeah, let's let, let me update you on what has happened over the last few days since my last update, moving on to right now and what I am looking at next. Okay, so it's not even been 24 hours since the approval. And since that approval, we didn't get much volatility, right? But I want to pick up, first of all, where I left off my last video uh, before I explain what I am looking for in my next trade. And that, was, of course, was a very bullish video, uh, really saying why Bitcoin's going to pump, why I'm in no short trades and, you know, why I am absolutely remaining bullish right now. And we can all see uh, fast forwards a few days later. That was the correct decision as we did get another move to the upside, taking out the previous highs okay, and making once again a new yearly high. Uh, I've got some insights uh, that I shared with the champion members in the time as we were coming up to a few key levels. And I want to share that with you so I can educate you on some of the key reasons on the choices that I made. So, of course, at the time, uh, you know, I was making it clear, still no short trades, remaining longs, really am absolutely bullish here, expecting higher prices to be hit. The next target above us that we had was a daily and then a yearly level. OK, so what happened next? Well, we started to rise to the upside and making our way towards that daily. Of course, still only long at the time, not shorting yet. And then we hit the daily and I did take a short trade off of this daily. OK, why? Because it had a good enough reaction. OK, for me to want to be a bit more aggressive on that short trade. OK, after the aggressive short trade, price did drop by around 2% to the downside. OK, this is a, around a 2% drop after the rejection of that daily zone. OK, and what would we done was we bounced off of around that VWAP. OK, and price started to actually consolidate sideways for around four hours, four to five hours. And while we were consolidating at the daily here, OK, the short was still, OK, of course, profitable. Uh, but I decided to close out of the short trade. As you can see here, this is a in the time update. There's no hindsight here. I, you know, I'm putting myself on the line. Uh, because if there was a big rejection and a drop, I would have closed the short way too early, right? But I decided to close that short for profit. As I read the chart, you know, I'm coming in here, reading the order flow, making an informed decision live in the time based off of the statistics and data that I have uh, that we're going to push up onto another new high. So I didn't see the point in still remaining in the shorts off of that daily, okay? And it's like I said in the last video, if I was wrong and price had dropped there, well, that would have been a very, very bad decision indeed. As we know now, uh, that worked out nicely. And like I said here, I really believe we are going to flip the daily into support. Igor's telling everyone <laughs> no shorts. You know, it really is looking good for hire. And by the way, Igor actually gave uh, in his daily morning live stream a trade uh, prior to this drop even, okay, prior to this in the morning, uh, a long offer of the view app, which is still in play now, by the way, that's still an open trade. So that's obviously closer to 10% profits now. But, you know, so even at the time, remaining bullish, no short trades in longs for higher. And there we go. We end up taking out the highs, okay? And then we start to look for the new yearly highs. Still at the time, no shorts, looking for higher. And then we made our way, well, there we go, through... Uh, the new yearly highs, and we're looking for $47,000 next, okay? So just so I give you a little bit of, um, you know, knowledge passing, 
the way that I'm making these calls. I don't go through this just to show, hey, look at me, look what I did. I'm talking you through it so you can see, first of all, that you know, transparency and to show everything that I'm calling is live in the time. There's no hindsight. And I'm the way I'm doing this is the important thing, right? So we're hitting key levels that I'm prepared for. And then the first thing I do is flip over to the order flow. Okay. So this is what I'm very interested in. I'm come over to my template and I'm looking at the HL time trade counts. Combining this, okay, with lower term time frame context, here you can see the chart that I'm using. Uh, this is a volume chart. So, you know, standard, let's say one minute chart. Every one minute, you print a new candle. Here, I'm not using time-based charts, but volume-based. So every candle is printed after 10 million volume. This is very useful when we're combining this with the time. So we can obviously recognize the the amount of volume that's coming into the market, you combine that with the open interest, okay, which I use on this template, okay, using this with the open interest, we can make really good decisions on recognizing strength and weakness in the market. Okay, this is also a new, well, not really that new now, I've been using it for like six months, right, but the direct data, so this basically shows liquidations, this is all just information that we can only get live in the time. So you cannot predict what's going to happen an hour into the future with volume. We can only react live in the time. So we have our predictions based off of our levels that we've got pre-set out. And then as we hit those levels, we come over to the order flow and then we make an informed decision of do we want a long? Now we've retraced to that support. Do you want a short? Now we've rose to that resistance or do we want to uh stay in no trade and, and, and fairly neutral this is what also aids me for example when i take a short to get out of it in profit and not hold it uh for, for longer than necessary it's all based over the order flow this is how i'm making these decisions so you know that is how you know i'm recognizing this so of course then we hit this big big important uh, previous range point in control, which for me was absolutely a uh, massive level. And I did take another short from there. Uh, in the end, you know, we hit that point of control. We ended up going sideways, 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 sideways. And the next day, uh, well, of course, we formed some bearish divergence during this period. And the next day, we got a really nice flush to the downside. So it was, again, like a very high percentage move. And what i done, lock in, take profit one on that short trade because I still recognize it's very likely that we're going higher, right? Uh, so we lock in take profit one. And as you can see, actually really nicely, that previous range point of control was actually pretty much the exact dollar high, by the way, uh, of the move. If I just go back to this uh, here, you can see that previous range point of control was the dollar high, okay, for that then bigger move to the downside. So that was really nice. But of course, we're now through that trade and we have now seen a subsequent move to the upside again giving us some nice volatility moves swing failure patterns think swing failure patterns coming back down to hit lower naked point of controls then we're looking on to see fill the wick scenarios and you know we're just updating the market here every day <laughs> looking at what we do best and that is the bitcoin charts right so yeah, for me now, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you in on what I am looking at next. OK, so I hope you've enjoyed these first 10 minutes or so, uh, giving you some insights, giving you some context and, you know, showing you that reading the market like this uh, is not luck. OK, it is a, a skill really that you learn over time. And if you really dedicate yourself to this, you know, I, I am teaching and the other coaches who are extremely good traders, very profitable traders. Uh, we are teaching you everything that we use day in, day out. And, you know, if you really study and listen to us, um, I, I, I honestly believe you can have life changing profits in this market. OK, it's not going to happen overnight. But if you really put in the time and effort, give it a few years because it does take time. It's just like a university degree, <clears throat> but you will come out of it with a uh, with the ability to make absolutely insane profits. So, okay, moving on to what I'm looking at next. And this is what I told my team last night. Um, I am still absolutely really remaining bullish. I believe we're going to make new highs. I'm in all my long trades. Market structure is still bullish. And, you know, I'm just making it clear here uh, transparently, you know, I'm absolutely still bullish even here on the chart. Okay. So, you know, it's like I say, I, I really hope um, that the transparency and honesty that I'm giving, you're able to make some really good gains alongside me here um, when it comes to Bitcoin. So, of course, 
Can I be wrong? The answer is yes. But let me explain what I personally am looking for next. So I love this naked point of control. If you remember back, okay, if, if this was uh, probably uh, three videos ago now on YouTube, we had this really nice triangle, okay? And I was looking, of course, for the fake out of the triangle. And we all know that prediction went nice as well because we got to the high of the triangle and we got that large drop, which was like the fake out of the triangle. But if you remember, we did have still, you know, the official target of that triangle where we took the triangle low to high. Of course, it ended in a fake out, but we still have that target at that just around that naked point of control zone. So I'm really liking this naked point of control for the next higher level. Uh, then you do have the confluence of taking out $50,000, okay, onto what would be this weekly, massive weekly target um, above 50,000 psychological, right? Uh, but prior to that, we got the triangle um, confluence target with the monthly naked point of control. So for me, there's some really, really strong high confluence levels if you take that fibonacci pool you all know the all-time high pool also lining up nicely <laughs> both sides of the cc with those levels so i'm really 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 liking those um levels above us to be honest with you can we get through them the answer is yes uh you know um but for me that that's what i call high confluence you know very interested in short trades off of them again depends on the reaction right if we just go straight through the level everything's looking bullish i'm not going to trigger a short but if we come up to that level we get a nice reaction we get some bearish order flow you know i'm going to be um you know <laughs> don't know the right words here. I'm going to be very, very, very excited of, of the potential retracements, I suppose. Um, but yeah, in terms of support to the downside, um, you know, it's like we, we do have some confluence at these lower levels, especially the lower weekly, because I feel this daily is almost being tested. Um, but we do have a daily in the, the lower weekly here, the weekly coming in at around that range value area low. Uh, but of all the bigger interest, I, honestly, for me, sits down at the lower naked point of controls. Uh, so we got the higher term time frame levels for, I mean, at the end of the day, yes, yeah, set an alert, check the reaction. But my bigger support sit down, oh, excuse me, on the uh, naked point of controls much lower. So uh, for, for me, yeah, right now, I am still with the bullish bias, still in all my long trades. Uh, would really like to see our higher targets to be hit, okay, tested, at the very, very least, right, taking out this high for a swing failure pattern, um, but yeah, I'm looking once again for another new yearly high, okay, if we do get a retracement, of course, we do have some nice support levels below us to look to long the dip before coming up to hitting those higher targets that I have, so I really hope that I have been able to be, you know, helpful for you in this video and if you want to see more myself and the team every day then you know where to get us right over on the website chartchampions.com this is where we teach every day our educational content where you can learn all about how to read order flow how to analyze the charts okay and right now we have some special exchange deals as well as you all know i'm always on bybit and that's where my main exchange is trading we still got the big thirty thousand deposit bonus here and now the newer option bing x is more you know it's a crypto exchange but you can also trade the stock market so you can trade coinbase you can trade nvidia the es all those types of stocks and indexes uh, on bing x so we've got a a nice exclusive bonus as well for the followers of Chart Champions, uh, which is at the moment 6,200. So if you want to take advantage of them, that's always going to be available on the deals or in the description comments down below and a, a VPN, which I would always say is a very good advantage to be using while you're uh, not only trading, but just everything in general on the internet, right? So um, yeah, you can make advantage of all of those deals uh, via the, the deals page simply on our website. And if you're here uh, wanting more from myself and the rest of the team, of course, we got the whole website content. Today, we got the weekly altcoin stream. So this is a absolutely, I would always say a must watch. The profits that get given from these altcoin streams is is pretty crazy. Again, we're not a signals group, but, um, you know, there are sometimes very good information given uh, ahead of time on, on streams, right? But we are an educational group, but this is a fan favorite uh, 
<laughs> because it's uh, it gives <laughs> gives some very nice trades, right? So the altcoin stream is today if you're interested in getting in on the altcoin action, which at the moment is really nice, right? We're seeing some very nice volatility. Look at Dot Atom up again, nearly five percent on the day on Cardano. So yeah, if you want to take advantage of the altcoin stream, you know where to get it. That will be today for the champion members. And if you're here for the courses and the educations, of course, all the contenders and champions will get access to that. That is me signing out of this video. I truly hope you've enjoyed. You know, I come and make these videos, of course. I love trading. I'll do this even if I have one person watching the videos. Uh, you know, I, I love to help and, you know, to see the positive comments, to see what we're doing is truly helping people. Uh, it's it's wonderful. I get to do what I love, uh, share with it, with you all, make some profits of my own on the trades, and uh, you know just have a good time changing people's lives, like really benefiting and doing something good here. So yeah, I'm gonna always be here with a smile. If you want to see us every day, you know where to get us over via the website chartchampions.com. I'm gonna wrap it up there. I'm gonna say hope you've enjoyed once again, <laughs> and uh, I'll see you in the next one, or of course over on the Discord. Cheers, champs. Thank you. And that's me signing out. Goodbye.